I'm sorry I'm the last. I will try to be funny and fast <laughs> so everyone not get bored. Okay. So um, I would like to talk about digital breaches since I'm uh, researching in virtual reality and um, doing, sometimes I'm doing documentaries and interactive documentaries. Technology and powers has always been uh, connected. Um, uh, I wanted to show you this quote about Donna Haraway because she's, uh, she's telling uh, the need for unity of people trying to resist worldwide intensification of domination had never been more acute. This is because she was writing this in Cyber Manifesto 30 years ago and she was talking from Silicon Valley so she was basically um, talking from a point where she notices the, the start of what is then happened at the, the digitization on every, um, everything we experience, uh, mostly we experience in the world. So uh, the digitization of the markets, the control uh, in uh, the streets with the CCTV and our, uh, yeah, every, everybody knows about it. Uh, so um, what she didn't, um, she couldn't maybe for view was that technology is also now very cheap and has, uh, as um, the founders of Arduino in Torino like to, to say, and now we can do in a garage what uh, 30 years ago could be made just um, with, I don't know, in MIC or at NASA. Uh, so that's why um, I would like to talk uh, about you um, to um, to experience I have and then about my works. Um, so there is a statement, uh, be a network. We were talking yesterday about the death of the author. Um, one, of, one possible solution to that could be um, for the artist uh, forget itself and try the others work for him basically. So think uh, as an artist, not as an individual, but as a network. And um, so um, one experience I had in Berlin at Republica, which is a blogger meeting they do every year. Uh, I meet this guy, they, they are from, uh, um, from Kenya. Uh, they developed the uh, Ushaidi. It basically was before the springs of 2011. And these uh, four hackers in Kenya, basically they, they could build in three days a network using, uh, everybody use, could use the networks with normal cell, for cell phone, because uh, nobody has a smartphone at that time, maybe. And uh, so they developed this, this uh, map. Uh, which was continually a journey about uh, the um, basically uh, there was, there was uh, violence in that period in Kenya because it was the post-electional crisis. So the people that didn't know if they could travel or not in the territory, so they couldn't see that map to to see if they could go to work or not. And um, and so after um, they developed this, they decided to do a more specific app for. Uh, smartphone as well, and this was uh, then used everywhere in Gaza, in Africa. It was used in you, you see this. This is all the usage of the app, and it was also used in Brazil for um, showing corruption. The the people could um, in Brazil could um, underline corruption of the governments, and yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot be more detailed about that, but. Uh, so basically, okay, we, then we come to the second statement, which is learn the code. Basically, in order to use technology, we, we for sure need to know how this is uh, working and uh, so that we uh, go against the problem, of course, of uh, the central, centralized technocracy, which uh, Araway was talking about. And so another example that a lot of people maybe know here, uh, I came in, in contact, uh, actually, I mean, not in contact, I knew this, uh, this guy, which is a professor in, uh, in India, it's called uh, Sugata Mitra, uh, because at my school, uh, um, 
uh, uh, director Jerry Rothwell was shooting at the time a documentary about him. The guy basically started the project in which he um, he decided to put um, computers in a wall in a slum in India and then in many other slums and uh, leave alone the children with it and see what, what they could do. And um, he observed that uh, the children were learning English fastly and then they were starting to Google that homework. So they, basically they got um, a good, very good improvement in, uh, in learning because of, uh, of that. And um, so he was basically doing just two things. He was giving the technology, telling them to work in groups, and then go away. And uh, I think this was a very good um, way of doing things. So I, I thought maybe I can uh, also do these things uh, when, for my work, for my uh, documentaries. So basically, yeah, to... Two years ago, I made this uh, this movie. This about um, it's a fiction documentary um, which wanted to uh, build a network in the city of Berlin. Um, and uh, yeah, okay, the fictional element it was that uh, imagine that uh, some mysterious development developer invent and an application that you could use like a Super Mario Bros. Uh, game to gather money on the city. And, and you can really use this money. I mean, this money then was uh, bitco bitcoins or kind of, uh, you know, virtual currency uh, to, to use it as money to buy, you know, uh, things on the bar or clothes or whatever you need. And um, so um, what I needed to do to do this uh, was just invent this story and then ask uh, my friends to do <laughs> strange stuff in the streets. And uh, yeah, this was, uh, this is a uh, spree park, is a old uh, Luna park. <laughs> okay, so, and... Uh, and then I, um, what I did was uh, going to uh, developers and blogger, telling them the, the story and, and ask them questions. So I, I didn't create any fiction, I just asked questions to people as, as everything was real and, and, and we got the documentary. The original developer is, no one knows him. I've come across some people that allegedly said, you know, they were, they were there in the first meetings. I don't know who he is or who they were, just like everybody else, I don't know. I think that actually the reason they're giving bitcoins away basically is to gather data. Um, I think they're basically paying people minuscule amounts of money to roam the city and explore spaces that haven't been mapped yet. Build stories without um, create it. Just be a tool for other people to, to create the stories. That's why I, um, I'm now developing this, uh, this object that uh, Hota is uh, wearing. Um, before uh, MP was saying that she doesn't like to have the camera on his face when she's interviewed. So uh, I felt the same actually. <laughs> and uh, not, not in this moment, but I mean, uh, because I'm a worker in, in this field. So I, I, anyway, so I developed this thing in which um, you, are, you are the observer and you, you are also the person who is virtually be interviewed. Um, you maybe know the, um, the story, um, the, the um, uh, romance, uh, Neuromancer by William Gibson. Uh, he talked about a device which is called SimSteam um, that you can use to enter in other person's body, feel all they can feel and and so on. So uh, I wanted to build something like that um, to, to try to um, enter um, in, in other people's reality. And I thought this can be strong that actually interviewing them. And this can be also be a, a way of um, 
give them the technology so they can use it as they want. And it's also interesting, you know, to see where the people look and, uh, I mean, uh, you know, like, uh, how do you say, in medesimarsi, uh, So, yeah, so this is the device, and uh, it took a bit of time to understand what I wanted to make, but um, then we decided that the best way is doing it with Oculus, I mean, uh, it can be very, ah, and also yeah, the device is always recording 3D videos and 3D sound as well with binaural audio, which um, I mean it's a very immersing experience to to prove, uh, which because in the, the microphones are recording um, both uh, both what both ears are listening, so you. You really feel like you are, you were there, as you were there. And uh, okay, so yeah, we made some trial here. Of course, you cannot wear Oculus and you cannot wear headphones now. But here is a um, 180 degrees uh, demonstration of it. It's Luigi entering in a bar. Posso pagare per favore? The plan is to, to build, uh, everyone knows, uh, com shared economy, peer to peer site, like, sites like Airbnb and um, uh, Uber, for example. I, I, want to, uh, I want to build a site, a uh, website which is a peer-to-peer -peer website with all these uh, kind of reverse interview and in which uh, that the people are recording and um, so that basically you can travel through this map and um, prove some other life and um, maybe yeah there will be I think uh, also as a description of these um, interviews, I mean there will be text in it of course and then you you can accede to video and I imagine this like an installation so that uh, everyone can um, use, I mean Oculus are, are not so expensive but um, um, no one, ha not a lot of people has it so I, I imagine this like an installation you can go in that place and experience the, the website but it would also maybe be on internet and the goal is to create a peer-to-peer -peer network where people can actually um, know um, how what is the value of their personal um, data that usually they are sharing for free uh, for example on Facebook and without maybe even knowing that uh, they, I mean, other people, other people is earning uh, money with with their private life.